Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. In the last episode, we continue working on uh, this enclosure back here. We got our Marasaurus in here. We've got some Dryasaurus in here. Um, we also put some Struthiomimus in this enclosure. Here. So that's good. And uh, we also added a park tour to this enclosure, which got our adventure guests to where it needed to be so that we completed our mission. So now our next mission is to expand the boundaries of the park again. So we needed what, six million? dollars i think to do that so we'll have to let the money build up there a little bit now we do have one sick chasmosaurus it has a cold and it says territory disease fix environmental needs the only environmental needs is the issue with cohabitation So, now if you look at the enclosure, we have what? One, two, three, four, five Dryasaurus. We only need three. I really don't want to get rid of any of them. I did just release them. But it is causing a bit of an issue. All right, so. I think we're probably going to have to get rid of one, or at least one of these. So, uh, let's crank one and uh, sell it. And then... Uh, We'll see if that solves the problem, just getting rid of one of them. Now, can the helicopter actually hit the thing? Vehicle destroyed, because of course it was destroyed. At least it's not that. Who's injured? All right. It's only a matter of time. All right, did we actually get that one? Sell the dinosaur, yes. Let's take care of the problem. Asset requiring collection. Get a couple of you guys resting. There we go. All right. So, has that solved the problem. Transportation underway.
Not at the moment. I think it actually has to disappear. Asset being transported. Populations now four. Nope, they're still cranky. Asset transported. I can't get rid of any Mayasara. I could get rid of a Kamarasaurus. I really don't want to. Because there only really needs to be one there. Alright, well we'll try and get rid of another one of the Dryasars. Just gonna find it. There's one. Put you back where you belong. Why are we using power from one of my backup generators? That shouldn't be a thing that's happening. But it is. I need increased output. All right, fossils. Actually, let's have you take care of that. Infrastructure. No, no, no. There's a specific one for power, right? Power. There we go. Um, basic power technology upgrades. Now it has full on. Pneumonia. Uh, why didn't that? I want you. You guys have to wait till its health drops? Delivery complete. Oh, well, that does not seem to have affected this cohabitation at all.
All right, plan B. We'll trank all the Dryasars and we'll move them somewhere else. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Now it's low health officially. There we go, go treat it. Dryasaurs over here. I hope there is like the food needs that they have over there. There should be. Yeah, that took care of it. Alright, let's find our Dryasaurs and see. Yep, they have the food they need. They just need to get close enough to the water to pick it up. There we go. They're on the edge of the cohabitation, but they're fine. What about you guys? You guys alright? Yeah, they're perfectly fine. Um, Parasaurolophus, you're fine, and Struts, you're fine. All right, good. All right, that enclosure's maxed out, and... And these guys are the ones that are affecting my ability to expand this enclosure. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Alright, so, just need to get the uh, revenue up. Or get the... Uh, the bank account increased. Now, let's just take a look at my amenities. Overcrowded guests, overcrowded guests, and overcrowded guests. Alright. Alright. The donuts over here, we're going to upgrade you to a... A medium amenity. This is going to be food, right? We're going to put it back as donuts. Let's get this uh, listed up to what it needs to be.
All right, still a little overcrowded. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Another ranger team was destroyed. Really? I'm trying to build up my cash and you keep costing me money. Why was that ranger team even in that enclosure? It's not assigned to that outpost. You're assigned to Ranger Post 2. That's Ranger Post 1. This is Ranger Post 2. Oh, we never actually scanned it? Oh, I thought it would have been fairly obvious what the problem was. Oh well, go ahead and scan it. He's tranquilized for a little while. Alright, you're you're on your ranger post where you're supposed to be. You just need to be medicated. All right, go ahead and medicate it. Done. All right, I'll wake Our you back up. I see, I think, Ranger Post 2 overlaps. Transporting asset. Asset has been transported. What I'm going to have to do is hopefully get some better, some more T-Rex, or get the T-Rex genome complete, and then see if I can't maybe alter its genome to make them a little bit more docile. But we're working on this right now, so. Well, we'll just, we'll just deal with it. Just deal with it. All right. I can go ahead and buy that park boundary. All right. Now we just need to hit four stars. Jurassic Park San Diego. We really did bring it back from the brink. And the dinosaurs back from beyond it. There's still more to do if we're to see the facility at its peak. More land should help. I would think that more guests and more dinosaurs with a greater variety of species would work as well. Correct. Let's get our park rating up across the board. What do you think, Dr. Malcolm? Well, you know, Thomas Edison 
uh, once said that just because something doesn't go as planned doesn't mean that it's useless. And when it comes to Jurassic Park, that has surprisingly turned out to be true for now. So perhaps what's been achieved in San Diego is a tribute to those who would never leave the island. A painful and tragic legacy, but one that would be the foundation of a world forever changed by resurrecting its past and then turning it into theme park attractions. The fact that no one could have predicted the dinosaurs and humans would breathe the same air uh, gives me pause. <laughs> and it also, uh, it also makes me smile. All right. We need to upgrade this amenity. Let's do it. Now, this was leisure wear, right? Um... Still overcrowded, really? Oh, we got a dead dinosaur. We have a dead compy. Died of old age. All right, no problem. Well, they're gonna start dying. We'll, uh, we'll replace them. All right, fossils. All right, now we're looking at you. You like sauropods. Hadrosaurus, Pachycephalosaurs. They're, they don't like Ceratopsid. They don't like other Stegosaurs. I had planned to throw them in the other enclosure, but that isn't going to happen. We don't want to put these in the same enclosure with each other. All right. Asset transportation underway. That's the... Oh, there's actually one thing we need to do that I forgot. Increased output. Increased output. That'll give me some more overhead. Let's get Stegosaurids 2. Just check to see if anybody has any training points, which doesn't look like they do.
Oh, we got uh, some more dead zombies. Come on. Asset to be collected. All right, now I'm trying to think of where do I want to do the next enclosure. Where we're going to have uh, Stegosaurids. I'm thinking we're going to have like a carnivore area maybe down here. We'll do... Commencing asset transit. Maybe could I throw a small enclosure? Well, no, we're going to need to put some like amenities and stuff over there eventually. Like, we have some room right about here, I think. All right. Let's start making some plans. All right, I'm going to want to come out of here. Actually, I don't know if I want to go right up against... I don't think I want to go right up against that. What I want to do... I'm going to want to leave... Some room there. There's stuff along the road here. Do we put some enclosures down along here? So I think what we're gonna do then is we're going to put in Okay. I'll put in a viewing platform here. Put in one of these here. Can I get close enough? Can I get close enough to pick that up? Yep.
I think we're going to put in the large fence. I'm probably going to move that substation here in a second. is going to need power. Well, it'll get power once the fence is in place. Expedition. Large hotel. We need three and a half stars to get T Rex. Okay. Well, hopefully with the new enclosure, we'll be able to hit that, no problem. Fossils do we have here? Just this one. We'll wait for the uh, the rest to come in. In All right, but I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see about filling in this enclosure with some stuff. we we'll come back. And then I think do some more planning about uh, potential layout as well. We're going to need to bring the pathway through here, probably wrap it around here. Also given space for amenities around this hill. Swing that in, and then we'll just have a lot of space around the outside for enclosures, hopefully. All right, but for now, we'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.